Okay, Galatians chapter 4, Paul's going to pick up where we left off uh, in chapter 3. He's going to continue talking about sons and heirs. Remember, we're talking about freedom that we have in Christ. He's trying to tell the Galatians, you have freedom because you're sons of God now. And he goes on, he says, I mean that the heir, as long as he is a child, is no different from a slave, though he is the owner of everything. But he's under guardians and managers until the date set by his father. Remember, he was talking about the law was the guardian, but now that we're free in Jesus Christ. We don't need the guardian anymore because the better thing is here, God himself. So he says, listen, Jews were heirs, but they were still under a guardian, the law, but now everything's changed because of Jesus. He says in the same way, we also, when we were children, we were enslaved to the elementary principles of the world. So if you think about it, he's talking about two different types of principles. For Jews, the elementary principles were the Mosaic law. A Jew would, would t- have a tendency to go back to the Mosaic law to try to be worthy before God through that. Paul said, we can't do that. It won't work. For Gentiles, the thing that they'll go back to is their pagan lifestyle and their values. You know, we just have a tendency to go back to the thing we are more comfortable with or the thing that we came up out of. And Paul's saying, don't go back to any of this stuff. There's no need to anymore. And here's why. He says, because when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. So he's he's saying we're we're done with all that old stuff. Now we're done with our old life because of Jesus. Jesus came and he redeemed us and now we are his sons. We've been adopted as his sons. And he's saying this this has been planned all along. God knew this was going to happen from the very beginning. And finally, this time has come. And, you know, when he's talking about adoption in Roman culture, a lot of times a wealthy person, if he had no sons, he would he would adopt an adult son so that that person could be the heir to his fortune. And that's kind of the image that Paul's trying to conjure up for the Galatians. He's saying, listen, especially for the Gentiles, he's saying, you guys have been adopted into the family of God and look at the benefits you've received because of it. In fact, he says in verse six, and because your sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts and it cries, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then you're an heir through God. So one of the things we inherit, one of the, one of the benefits of being a child of God is we have the spirit in our hearts, the Spirit of God. Paul had already talked a little bit about this in Romans chapter 8. Again, speaking to a bunch of Gentiles, Romans, he says, So then, brothers, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. But he says, For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. And then he says this, the Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. You know, sometimes you might wonder, am I really a Christian? And and what Paul is saying is the Spirit bears witness that you really are a child of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, provided we suffer with him. Now, so think about it. Paul is saying to the Galatians, you don't have to let the Judaizers get in your head. You are already children of God. You've already been accepted. How do you know you've been accepted? Because the Spirit of God lives in your hearts and he's a deposit. Paul says it in another place. He's a deposit in your life guaranteeing what's to come. So Paul says, live in that freedom that you have by the Spirit. Live in that new freedom. Don't go back to the Mosaic law. Don't go back to your pagan lifestyle. You don't have to be trapped by that stuff anymore. Why don't you hit pause and talk about some of these questions before you move on to the next video?